Today we are talking all things drinks right here in Savin's World. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Savin's World, the gaming channel for all things Seven Days to Die. Now, if you are ready to learn all things Seven Days to Die and take your Seven Days gameplay to the next level, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single one of our tutorial videos. Today, we are discussing all things drinks. Seven Days to Die is a survival game, and one of the major aspects of survival in Seven Days to Die is your water level. As such, the game offers a wide variety of recipes that you can make in order to fulfill that water requirement. So let's head inside, let's get everything we need, and let's get to it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Savin's Kitchen. Once again, I've got my cooking clothes on, and we are going to take a look at all of the drink recipes available in Seven Days to Die. We are going to discuss the skills and perks needed for these recipes, all of the items needed to make the recipes, and exactly when these recipes will be unlocked. So let's head to the kitchen and let's get started. But before we start cooking, let's go through the skills and perks that you are going to need in order to make these recipes. Drink recipes are unlocked with the Master Chef perk, which is located in the Strength Tree. In order to unlock all of the drink recipes, you will need to get your Master Chef all the way up to level 5, which means your strength needs to be up to level 10. Now let's go ahead and go through each drink recipe in 7 Days to Die. We're going to start at Master Chef level 0, that means no points in Master Chef, and we are going to progress all the way up to level 5 of Master Chef, and I will show you exactly what recipes are unlocked at each level. So let's start off with Master Chef level 0. At level 0, you have three drink options available. You have the boiled water, murky water, and yucca juice. I went ahead and put these in order from the least water level all the way to the most, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at these items and see exactly what they give you and how to make them. The first item is Murky Water. Murky Water will give you 10 water, 15% stamina regen, but it also has a 12% chance to give you dysentery. Drink Murky Water only as a last resort. Dysentery is no joke. You do not want to get it. It is very, very bad. In order to cook up some Murky Water, all you're going to need is one snowball and an empty water jar. Now this is to craft the Murky Water or to cook the Murky Water. A much simpler way to get Murky Water is just to take your empty water jars to any water source and fill them up. Your empty water jars stack to 125, so you can take 125 of those bad boys to any river, any lake, any puddle, anything like that that has water. Fill up those jars and you'll have yourself a whole bunch of murky water. But if you find yourself in the snow biome with no water sources nearby, there is a way to cook up some murky water. Now murky water, again, I would not recommend drinking it. However, it is used in several other recipes, including the next item on our list. Boiled water. Boiled water gives you 20 water. 15% stamina regen, and you'll notice it has a 0% chance to give you dysentery. So boiled water is 100% completely safe to drink. And all it takes to make up some boiled water is one jar of murky water. The last drink that you can make at level 0 is yucca juice. Yucca juice will give you 34 water and a stamina regen percent of 15 in order to cook up some yucca juice, you are going to need two yucca fruit and one empty water jar. Yucca juice is a great water source, especially if you find yourself in the desert. Yucca is everywhere, and empty jars you can loot pretty much anywhere. Plus, you don't need murky water or boiled water in order to make yucca juice. 
One change that they did make in Alpha 19 is you will have to make this at a campfire now. You can no longer craft this in your inventory. It has to be cooked up at the campfire. Now let's move on to level one of Master Chef, Bachelor. Level one of Master Chef opens up three more drink recipes for you to utilize. Let's start off with the first one on our list, coffee. Coffee gives you 24 water, a stamina regen boost of 20%, five points to your cold resist, and a duration of three minutes. One interesting fact about coffee is there is a book in the game in the Art of Mining series that gives you a boost to mining while you are drinking coffee. So drink up some coffee, go out mining, and you'll actually get some extra resources. Coffee is a very useful drink in this game. And to cook up some coffee, all you're going to need is one coffee bean and one boiled water. You will also need a cooking pot in order to brew up some coffee. The next recipe is golden rod tea. Golden rod tea gives you 24 water, a stamina regen of 15%, plus it has the added benefit of curing dysentery. It will actually speed up the healing process if you catch dysentery by 20%. In order to brew up some golden rod tea, you are going to need a cooking pot, you will also need one goldenrod flour and one boiled water. And the last recipe opened up at level one is red tea. Red tea gives you 24 water, a stamina regen percentage of 15, and it also comes with the added bonus of efficient digestion, plus 15% for four minutes. Efficient digestion means that your food and drink bars will degrade at a slower rate after you drink red tea. In order to brew up some red tea, you are going to need a cooking pot. You will also need one chrysanthemum and one boiled water. The next couple recipes can be unlocked at Master Chef Level 3, Short Order Cook. The first recipe is the Yucca Juice Smoothie. Now this item is kind of both a food and a water recipe. However, since it is a smoothie, I felt it belonged with the drinks. So let's go through exactly what the Yucca Juice Smoothie will get you. You will get 22 food, 11 health, a whopping 78 water, 15% stamina regen, a cold resist of plus 30, and this lasts for 15 minutes, so it lasts for quite a while. Now, unlike most of the other drink recipes, the Yucca Juice Smoothie is actually crafted in your inventory. It is not crafted in the campfire. So in order to make up a Yucca Juice Smoothie, you will need four Yucca Fruit, four Blueberries, one Snowball, and one Empty Jar. The next recipe unlocked at Master Chef Level 3 is beer. Beer will give you a stamina regen of plus 40%, brawling damage of plus 300%, stun resist of plus 100%, with a duration of 45 seconds. So if you're looking to get into a fist fight with some zombie jerks, make sure and chug some beer before you do. Now, in order to brew up some beer, you will need a chemistry station. This cannot be done in your inventory, and it cannot be done in the campfire. You will need a chemistry station in order to brew up some beer. You will also need four hops flowers and one murky water. The last set of recipes are opened up at Master Chef Level 5. And to introduce these recipes, I have brought in a very special guest who's going to be joining us here in Savin's Kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce Buzz. Hey there, folks. My name is Buzz, owner of Buzz's Bar, proud purveyor of our world-famous grandpa's line of fine spirits and adult beverages. Now these grandpa's recipes have been in my family since 1922 and until recently have been a closely guarded secret. However, thanks to them internets, unfortunately, grandpa's recipes are now available pretty much anywhere. 
So I decided to let my good friend Savin here teach you fine folks how to brew up some Grandpa's recipe. All except the forgetting elixir, Savin. That's still mine. You can't tell anybody how I make that. Oh, oh, don't worry, Buzz. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. I won't let it leak onto the internet like Arlene and the cowboy did with the rest of your recipes. They stole my life's work, Savin. I know, Buzz. I know. Anyway, folks, I really hope you enjoy these recipes. And if you're in the mood for a nice cold adult beverage, come visit me at Buzz's Bar. Boy, folks, I gotta tell you, that Buzz is one of the sweetest men you will ever meet in your life. He was generous enough to allow me to show you folks how to brew up some of the Grandpa's recipes. Because at level 5 of MasterChef, you have finally attained the skills necessary to brew up these recipes. So let's start off with Grandpa's Moonshine. Grandpa's Moonshine will give you plus 400% melee damage, plus 100% stun resist, plus 600 health, plus 50% damage mitigation, plus 60% stamina regen, and all of these boosts last for 45 seconds. Grandpa's Moonshine will turn you into an unstoppable tank for a short period of time. In order to brew up some Grandpa's Moonshine, you will need a cooking pot. You will also need four cornmeal, one grain alcohol, four blueberries, and one bottle of acid. Now keep in mind, this is the number of ingredients you will need at this level. Remember, at level four, you get a 20% reduction in the main ingredients for all food and drink recipes. So if you happen to find any of the grandpa's recipes before getting to level four, you are going to need more ingredients. Next up, we have grandpa's awesome sauce. This recipe will give you plus 20% to bartering and it has a duration of three minutes. The great thing about Grandpa's Awesome Sauce is it works for both buying and selling to the traders. While there are some other things in the game that only affect buying, this one affects both buying and selling when dealing with the trader. So before you go to the trader and sell off all of the loot that you've gathered, make sure and take some Grandpa's Awesome Sauce that way you make a whole lot more money and the things you want to buy will cost you a whole lot less. In order to brew up some Grandpa's Awesome Sauce, you are going to need a cooking pot. You will also need 40 Duke's Casino tokens, four jars of honey, four mushrooms, and eight gas cans. And the last Grandpa's recipe is Grandpa's Learning Elixir. This drink will give you plus 20% to your XP gain and has a duration of 40 minutes. I highly recommend taking some Grandpa's Learning Elixir right before you're going to be doing some upgrading to your base. You will get so much experience, it is insane. So anytime you're going to be doing an activity that's going to be gaining you a lot of experience, Chug down some Grandpa's Learning Elixir and you will gain even more. In order to brew up Grandpa's Learning Elixir, you will need a cooking pot. You will also need two cans of dog food, two red tea, one bottle of acid, and one beer. The next drink recipe takes us to a completely different tree. It is unlocked in the Physician perk of the Intellect Tree, and you will need to get your Physician perk all the way up to level 4. I'm talking about Recog. Now, while Recog technically is a drink, it actually has a negative effect on your water. It will give you plus 50% to range damage for 5 minutes. However, it also gives you negative 30 water. That means drinking this will decrease your water instead of increasing your water. In order to brew up some Recog, you will need a chemistry station. You will also need two bottles of acid, one grain alcohol, five scrap polymers, and one vitamin. Now there are a few more drinks in the game that we need to discuss. The first two we're going to talk about actually require a special book in order to unlock the recipe. The first one is Black Strap Coffee. 
Now, in order to brew up some Blackstrap coffee, you will first need to find The Art of Mining, Volume 4. Blackstrap coffee will give you 24 water, a 25% stamina regen, a cold resist of plus 10, and it lasts for 6 minutes. In order to brew up some Blackstrap coffee, you are going to need a cooking pot. You will need one coffee bean, one boiled water, and five gunpowder. The next drink is pure mineral water. This will give you 60 water, 15% stamina regen. If you have dysentery, it will speed up your recovery time by 20%, plus it gives you efficient digestion of plus 15% for five minutes. In order to cook up some pure mineral water, you will first need to find Wasteland Treasures Volume 4. Once you've found that book, you will need a cooking pot. You will also need one murky water, one coal, one goldenrod flower, and one chrysanthemum. The next drink on our list is Mega Crush. This drink gives you 60 water, 15% stamina regen, a run speed of plus 50%, and it lasts for two minutes. Unfortunately, there is no recipe for Mega Crush, so the only way to get this item is to loot it in the world or buy it. Although, if the Fun Pimps did decide to add a recipe for Mega Crush, I would be very interested to see what the ingredients would be in order to craft this drink. And the last drink on our list is Grandpa's Forgetting Elixir. Now, like I said, I made a promise to Buzz, I am not going to tell you what the recipe for this is. The only way to get this item is to purchase it. And it is not cheap. It is very, very expensive. Grandpa's Forgetting Elixir allows you to reset your skill points. So, let's say you are specced into something that you do not use anymore, or you do not want to be specced into anymore. You can actually take some Grandpa's Forget an Elixir and completely reset your points. You'll still keep all your points, it just allows you to reassign them. Allow me to demonstrate exactly how this works. Now let's say you are specced into Perception. You have Perception all the way up to level 10, and Demolition Expert at level 5. And you're like, you know, I really don't use explosives anymore. I'd really like to reallocate those points to, let's say, Deadeye. I would be much better with a sniper rifle than I would with a rocket launcher. So you want to go ahead and reassign those points. All you got to do, come down here, buy yourself some Grandpa's Forget Elixir, drink this, and you'll notice here it says your skill points have been reset. Now, if we go back to our character screen, you'll see that your perception is back down to level one, Demolitions Expert is down to zero, and all of your points are still available. So now you can go through and put your points into the attributes and the perks that you really want to keep. So there you have it, folks. That was all things drinks. We discussed each drink recipe, when they can be unlocked, what you would need in order to cook each recipe, as well as some of the unique drink items that have very special unlock requirements or that cannot be unlocked at all. And again, I want to thank my good friend Buzz for joining us here in Savin's Kitchen and allowing me to go through each of the Grandpa's recipes. Except for Forget an Elixir. Sorry folks, that one is still a secret. Is there anything drink related that I may have missed that you folks want me to cover? Make sure and let me know in the comments below. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in Savin's World. If you found this video helpful and or enjoyable, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And if you're feeling especially generous, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.